Ever thought about how you're sitting right now or the way you stand? Did you know that your posture could hold the key to your overall health and well-being? Posture, the way we hold our bodies while standing, sitting, or lying down, is so much more than just a physical attribute. It's a silent storyteller narrating tales about our health, mood, and even our self-confidence. Yes, you heard it right. The way we carry ourselves can send powerful messages to the world around us and significantly impact our own mental and physical state. Consider this. When we maintain a good posture, our bodies align in a way that reduces strain on our muscles and ligaments. This alignment not only keeps us physically fit but also boosts our energy levels by allowing better blood circulation and oxygen flow. It's like that old saying, the body in motion stays in motion. First up on our list is regular exercise. Now you might be wondering how does working out improve posture? Well, let's dive into that. Exercise, particularly strength training and flexibility exercises, plays a crucial role in maintaining good posture. Regular exercise helps keep your body strong and agile, and this strength and agility translate to better posture. But how exactly does this happen? Think of your body as a complex machine. Each part of this machine has a specific function and all parts need to work in harmony for the machine to function optimally. Now, consider your core muscles. These include your abs, lower back, and obliques. These muscles are like the engine of your body. They provide the strength and stability you need to stand, sit, move, and perform almost every other physical activity. When these muscles are strong, they can maintain the natural curvature of your spine, and this is crucial for good posture. Weak core muscles, on the other hand, can't provide the necessary support. This can lead to slouching, hunching, and other postural problems. Now, let's talk about flexibility. Flexibility is just as important as strength when it comes to posture. A flexible body can move and adapt to different positions without strain. This is particularly important for the spine, which needs to be able to bend and flex without discomfort. Flexibility exercises help maintain the range of motion in your joints and muscles, which can prevent stiffness and help you maintain good posture. So, what kind of exercises should you be doing? Well, strength training exercises like planks, push-ups, and squats are great for strengthening your core. Yoga and Pilates are excellent for improving flexibility and balance. Remember, it's not about being the strongest or the most flexible. It's about being strong and flexible enough to maintain good posture. In conclusion, regular exercise is a powerful tool for posture improvement. It strengthens your core, enhances your flexibility, and helps maintain the natural curvature of your spine. And the best part? You don't need a fancy gym membership or expensive equipment. All you need is determination, consistency, and a little bit of time each day. Remember, a strong and flexible body is the foundation of good posture. So keep moving and keep stretching. Next on our list is something you can do right now, and that's being mindful of your posture. Mindfulness, as it relates to posture, is all about awareness. It's about tuning into your body and being conscious of how you're holding yourself whether you're sitting, standing, or even lying down. When you're mindful of your posture, you can catch yourself when you start to slouch or lean and correct it right away. But how do you develop this mindfulness? Well, it starts with regular posture checks. Picture this. You're sitting at your desk, engrossed in your work. Hours go by, and before you realize it, you're hunching over your keyboard. This is where a posture check comes in. Every hour or so, take a moment to assess your posture. Are your shoulders relaxed and level? Is your back straight? Are your feet flat on the floor? By asking yourself these questions, you'll become more aware of your posture and how it changes throughout the day. And don't worry, you don't have to set an alarm or anything. There are plenty of natural cues you can use to remind yourself to do a posture check. Maybe it's every time you check your email or when you get up to refill your water bottle. Soon, these posture checks will become second nature and you'll find yourself automatically correcting your posture without even thinking about it. Now it might feel a bit strange at first, especially if you're not used to sitting or standing up straight. But don't worry, it's just your muscles adjusting to a new, healthier way of holding your body. And remember, it's not about forcing yourself into a rigid, uncomfortable position. It's about finding a relaxed, natural posture that supports your spine and allows you to move freely. So, give it a try. Start incorporating these posture checks into your daily routine. You might be surprised at how quickly you start to see improvements in your posture. Keep in mind, awareness is key. Regularly checking and correcting your posture can have a huge impact on your overall posture. Third on our list 
is creating an ergonomic workspace. But what does this mean exactly? An ergonomic workspace is a setup that is designed to suit your body and its movements, reducing discomfort and enhancing productivity. It's about creating a space that supports the natural alignment of your body, helping you maintain good posture throughout the day. Let's dive into how you can achieve this. Firstly, consider your chair. It should be at a height where your feet are flat on the floor and your knees are at a right angle. Your back should be supported by the chair's backrest, allowing for the natural curve of your spine. If your chair is lacking in this department, consider investing in a supportive backrest or cushion. Next, let's look at your screen. Whether it's a computer monitor or a laptop screen, it should be positioned at eye level. If it's too low, you'll be tempted to hunch over, straining your neck and shoulders. If it's too high, you'll be craning your neck upwards, which can cause discomfort over time. So, adjust your screen to the right height, and if necessary, use a stand or riser to get it just right. Now let's talk about your keyboard and mouse. These should be placed so that your elbows are at a right angle when you're typing or using the mouse. This reduces stress on your shoulders and helps prevent conditions like carpal tunnel syndrome. Lastly, remember to take regular breaks. Even if you have the most ergonomic setup in the world, sitting for extended periods can still put strain on your body. Stand up, stretch, and move around at least once every hour. Not only will this help maintain good posture, but it also boosts circulation and helps keep you alert and focused. So, there you have it. A few simple adjustments to your workspace can make a world of difference to your posture. It's not about having the fanciest equipment or the most high-tech chair. It's about making your workspace fit you and your needs, rather than the other way around. Remember, your workspace should work for you, not against you. Make the necessary adjustments to support your posture. Last but not least, let's talk about sleep. Yes, you heard it right, sleep can indeed affect your posture. Now, you might be wondering, how does the way I snooze influence my stance? Well, let me tell you, it's all about alignment. When you're asleep, your body is in a state of restoration. During this time, it's crucial that your spine is properly aligned. This helps to prevent any undue strain or tension that might lead to poor posture. Firstly, your choice of mattress is pivotal. A mattress that's too soft or too firm can throw your spine out of alignment, causing problems in the long run. Ideally, you want a mattress that supports the natural curve of your spine. This means it should be firm enough to support your lower back if you're sleeping on your back, but soft enough to contour to your body if you're a side sleeper. Next up is your pillow. It's not just a fluffy cloud for your head to rest on. It plays a key role in maintaining good neck posture. A pillow that's too high or too low can strain your neck muscles, leading to discomfort and poor posture. A good rule of thumb is to choose a pillow that keeps your neck aligned with the rest of your spine. Now let's talk about sleep positions. Back sleeping is generally considered the best position for spinal alignment. But if you're a side sleeper, don't fret. Just place a pillow between your knees to keep your hips aligned. Stomach sleeping, however, is the least recommended as it forces your neck to one side, causing strain. Lastly, get enough sleep. Sleep deprivation can lead to muscle fatigue, making it harder for you to maintain good posture. Aim for seven to nine hours a night, but remember, quality matters just as much as quantity. So, don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. It can do wonders for your posture. Now that we've covered the four effective ways to improve posture, let's talk about the benefits. The rewards of maintaining a good posture are far-reaching, and they go beyond just avoiding back pain. First off, let's touch on the health benefits. Good posture can significantly improve your body's overall function. It promotes efficient breathing, aiding your respiratory system to function optimally. When you sit or stand tall, your lungs have more space to expand, which allows more oxygen to flow into your bloodstream. Good posture also aids in proper digestion. When you slouch, you compress your organs, potentially causing digestion issues. By sitting and standing tall, you give your digestive system the space it needs to work efficiently. Now let's move on to the psychological benefits. You might be surprised to know that maintaining a good posture can actually boost your mood and increase your confidence. Studies show that people who adopt an upright posture are more likely to feel confident and optimistic. Furthermore, good posture can improve your focus and concentration. When your body is aligned, it's easier for your brain to process information. So sitting up straight at your desk might actually help you perform better at work or school. Lastly, let's not forget about the aesthetic benefits. Good posture can enhance your appearance. 
making you look taller, slimmer, and more confident. It can also project a positive image to others, making you appear more competent and reliable. So we've touched on the physical, psychological, and aesthetic benefits of good posture. But remember, these benefits don't come overnight. It takes time, effort, and consistency. The four methods we discussed earlier, regular exercise, mindfulness and posture checks, ergonomic workspaces and proper sleep habits, are your keys to achieving and maintaining good posture. So start today, make the necessary changes and reap the benefits of good posture. Remember, your body will thank you for it.